Alright, so we're going to talk about uh, UV mapping, applying materials in Blender, and what you got to do in Blender and GE. This is not the XML part, just Blender and GE. We're going to do a couple different types of materials, just the basic ones. Uh, I'll try and make it quick as possible, so let's get started. First part we're going to work on is the body. We're going to make this color selectable. So first thing you want to do is open up a second window here. Do that by these three dots. Go to Image UV Editor, press T. I'm going to assume you have the Material Selector involved, installed. <laughs> and then we're going to press Tab over here. Just make sure your cursor is over here and then press Tab. And then we're going to press U for Unwrap. And then we're going to press Smart UV Project. We're going to press OK. This is going to take a second because it has 75,000 pieces. Uh, name of the game in modding is pretty much be patient. It's a lot of waiting and waiting. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, as you can see here on your material selector, it has all of your predefined materials along here. Uh, I'll pull that out in a second. And these are your selectable colors. So this is what we're going to use for the body. This is how you make it selectable. You're, we're just going to select color 0 and now we're going to apply a material so to apply a material you go to this window here material and then we're going to press new we're going to type exterior body you can do whatever you want uh, this color here it doesn't matter it just needs to be different all of them need to be different so we're going to do blue for this here uh, that is done. We're going to go back to object mode. We're not going to apply textures today. Uh, that can be done in G. Uh, so for the handles, we're going to make these plastic. Same thing. Tab, U, Smart UV Project. Middle there. Paint it plastic. New. Exterior. Black. Plastic. This we will make with black, and that is now done. We're going to go onto the rim. We're going to make the rim chrome. So same thing. Tab U Smart UV Project. We're going to select chrome. We're going to type chrome exterior. We're going to make this something crazy just to show it doesn't matter what color you make it in Blender. It just needs to be different. So now we're done with that. We're going to work on the tire now. Same thing. Tab. U. This will probably take a second. Yeah, 47,000. <laughs> just be patient. Uh, whenever it loads up here for the tire, we're going to select rubber. Yeah, a lot of waiting. Alright, rubber. We're going to assign it its own material. We're going to do tire. We're going to make this, doesn't matter pink sure and that is now done object mode so now for windows you have to do something a little bit different pretty much the same but just a little bit different in the material end so tab unwrap here we're going to select glass clear new material we're going to do windows and down here we're going to select transparency and this alpha box this is how transparent it is so let's go 0.5 see how it you can almost see through it there we'll make this a different color because that also doesn't matter it just needs to have that transparent aspect in the material uh, now that is done that's the only difference uh, we're going to export here uh, giant side 3D. We're going to call this test parts. Uh, we're going to do it on our desktop. 
it's coming up red because I already have something called test parts. That's because I've done this video <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> uh, once again, waiting. <laughs> so you pretty much wait while it says not responsive. And then your blender scene will come back up. That's when you know it's done. Okay, so that is now done. I'm gonna go out of Blender. We're gonna open up Giants. Okay. Now we're gonna open our file that we were just working on. Test parts. Yeah. Alright, so here it is all crazy once again. So, for the body, you're going to assign a vehicle shader. All of these get assigned a ve vehicle shader, some of them a different variation. So, for the vehicle shader, you just go to your game path, wherever it's installed. For me, it's on this hard drive. Games, and then you go data, shaders, vehicle shader. And then in variation, you're going to select color mask. They're all vehicle shader pretty much. Just the variation changes sometimes. Now, in the gloss map, for it to have scratches and dirt, you're going to want a Gen Wear Dirt 2 shader. You can find that pretty much any mod. And then for the normal map, you're just going to assign a normal. And then when you unselect that, you'll notice that it is all scratched up, dirty, and it is yellow. Uh, yellow is the color it just defaults to. You can change that here in your zero. That's where you assign the color zero. Uh, it's red, green, blue. So if you want it red, just go one, zero, zero. It's red. Uh, this is your dirt. So if you want no dirt. That's no dirt. Uh, if you want dirt, no scratches, put a zero there. That's your scratches. There's scratches. All right, so we're going to put that back to normal. Uh, these for the black plastic. Once again, we're going to assign the same shader. Data. Color mask once more. We'll give this just a regular specular. And then we will give this a normal. And that is done. It's our black plastic. Now for the chrome rim. To make this chrome, we do the same thing. Games, shader, vehicle shader. Color mask, gloss map, we are going to apply a specular just so that you can see it all. And a normal, we are going to apply default normal. Uh, so yeah, you can see all that turned to chrome. Mm. And we are going to do the same thing for the tire. And you'll see it pop up as rubber. So games. Yep. Shaders. This is a little bit different though. We're going to do the top tire pressure deformation. And we're going to give it a gender one shader because there's no scratches on it. Um, tires don't have scratches. <laughs> and we will apply a normal here. And that is now done. Now for the windows, we are going to go vehicle shader. Once again.
and we're going to select window this time. Now up here in the gloss map we're going to do specular. Normal again in the normal. And uh, you'll notice it's still not see-through. So to make it see-through we got to go to Alvito map and we got to find a glass DDS image. Uh, it should be in pretty much any mod that you have. They should have some sort of DDS image for glass in there. Uh, we're going to do light tint just so you can see the tint and all that. So yeah, now you can see it. It's all light tinted windows. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. Uh, well, you're going to have to save all this. <laughs> Otherwise, all that work was just useless. Um, so yeah, as soon as you save, uh, it should be good. You can export all, save, and then export all the files to, we're just going to do desktop, we're going to do test parts, i3d. So save, export all those files, exporting. There it is, it's saved. We'll go find that wherever it is. I did it all over my desktop. I can see that. I didn't put it in a folder. Anyways, here it is. This is all the parts that I was. So there it is. It's saved. Comes up proper now. You just have to do your XML work. So yeah, I hope that helps everyone.